Welcome back to the Doll Face Glam TV. If you clicked on this video, that means you would like to know how I got this full skull look. This is my first Halloween um, makeup tutorial ever. I'm so glad you clicked on this video. Make sure you subscribe, like, and comment under this video, and we will get right into it. Thanks for watching. this part I moisturize my face um, you all already know what moisturizer I use I will tag in the description below I'm gonna start off with a very clean makeup free face and I'm going to go in with my one of my foundation brush just a clean one and I'm gonna go in with some white paint the white paint I'll be using is from Walmart I will tag it in the description below and in the video but um honestly the paint that actually I'm not gonna tag it because the paint actually was getting on my nerves because as you can see it was very very sheer and it kept moving around so it was really giving me a hard time like I probably would have finished this look faster than I did if the paint wasn't so sheer but as you can see like I did one coat and then I started doing another coat so it started working out like afterwards it was still moving around which I didn't like but um I'm just gonna speed up this part of the video because I'm covering my entire face with this white paint <laughs> So I'm done um, painting my face um, as you can see the blotches are still like kind of there because this paint was just so terrible but I'm using my powder contour palette and I'm going to use a foundation brush or a powder brush and I'm going to add some dimension and life into my face and I, I wanted to use a white powder to try to cover up some of these blotches but I didn't have one at the time so I'm just gonna do this instead and y'all this this white paint it was just smearing it was just so terrible like please don't go get this paint please don't like I, I made it work though y'all gonna see at the end so now I'm going to go in with my warrior 2 palette and I'm going to go in with that black shade and I'm going to start carving out the eyes nose and my mouth um, to do this you could just get a picture off of Google and just trace it and use that as your guide because that's what I did um, I will post a picture in the video of the picture that I was using um, you can really just use any picture you want it doesn't have to be perfect your first go around because I am going to be filling it in with eyeshadow and some black paint so I'm just going to do that now
so I'm done outlining so right now I'm just going to go ahead and fill in all the little gaps that I made where which is my eyes my nose and a little bit around my um, teeth and then inside of my mouth I couldn't find my black paint at this moment so I just started filling it in with the eyeshadow I would have if you copy this look make sure you have black paint because the eyeshadow was just it took me such a long time like I would have been done a long time ago if I just had my black paint but I'm just gonna go ahead and do that So I filled, I put my wig on and I found my black paint. So I went ahead and took that same eyeshadow brush and filled in all the little gaps that I just did with the black paint to make it look more darker and opaque. But now I'm going to just take this red lipstick and I'm going to just outline it uh, over my eyes. You don't have to do this part if you don't want to. At this point you can add glitter, rhinestones, um, any type of color you want. This is just my freestyle part. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. You can copy this if you like. I wanted to do like a blue, but I didn't have a blue lipstick, so this is just what I found. Um, make sure you comment below and tag me in your pictures if you decide to copy this look. I would love, 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 love to see them. <laughs> Okay, so for right here, I'm taking some blood that I got from Walmart, and I'm going to just be patching that all over my neck, over that, um, the little, those little breaks I made, and I'm going to be using a beauty blender to splash that on. I didn't, I blended in a little bit, and then I'm going to add it to my face too, just to give it a lot, a little more extra dimension, you know, life to it. Then I'm going to take a little knife, and I'm going to just be dipping it into the blood and adding a little, some little drops. This part, um, I liked, but it kind of got annoying because it kept getting all over my shirt, and uh, it's just, I don't know, I just really, it was just really annoying. But I like how it came out, and, you know, it looked like I was bleeding from my neck. I loved it. But, that will be the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you tag me if you try this look, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!